Greetings, YouTubeville. This is Anna, aka Boondog of Bliss, and we are going to be doing some closet reviews. If you recall, I created a video on constructive feedback in hopes that we can make this process very fun, fruitful, and friendly, open, and I can engage as many of you as I can. So I've got a list of individuals that requested a closet review, and we're going to do them one by one. I am going to make um, shorter videos where I'm dedicating one video per each closet. This way you can get them in bite-sized chunks and you don't have to sit through an hour of lots and lots of uh, different closet reviews. It may become repetitive and boring, so I'm just going to create little little nuggets here and there and you can watch them at your at your leisure. Um, before we do that, I want to explain what we're going to be reviewing as we look at these closets. So let me show you the criteria I'm using based on a template that I've started to utilize for more formal reviews um, for any individuals I am mentoring and any individuals that have uh, made a donation on my page and really require some assistance. Um, and some more in-depth work with me. So uh, I'm going to use that template to um, to guide us through that conversation. And I'm hoping this is going to be interactive. So I would like to have you leave comments as well, providing feedback to those individuals that are seeking our assistance. Um, also planning to do a live show where we do some closet reviews. I just need to figure out how to make it work with Google and YouTube where I can share my screen. I think that would be so fun if we can do a live interactive closet review as well. So stay, stay tuned for that. And meanwhile, let's go check out the criteria. For each closet review, we are using the following template. This is the template I also use for written and more in-depth reviews that I compile when working with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. Anything in blue is at a scope for this on-video review as it involves interviewing the individual. We are, we are pretty much uh, creating four sections and four categories for our feedback. The engagement level, the closet makeup, or you can also say closet composition, the presentation, and the customer service. In the engagement level category, we will be discussing the shares of others, your follows, and the number of followers the individual has. The rest are out of scope. The closet composition section, we're going to look at the volume of items posted, variety, and whether they're bundle friendly. We're going to discuss whether the items are on trend, outdated, brands in demand or not, meaning they could be wonderful brands and actually cost a lot. However, the market is so saturated, they may not be very sellable and may be slow to move. So we will talk about that as well. We'll discuss frequency and adding new items and pricing. Following the presentation, in this category, we're going to discuss photography, titles, descriptions, and the overall first impression of the closet, where we will comment on the cover photo, the titles, and the background of the cover photo, the meet the posher posting, and any closet rules or other postings which engage the Poshmark community. Customer service will be out of scope. So this is the general uh, template that will guide our conversation. Our first brave soul is Sissy. And guess what? Sissy is from Sacramento. So that's where I'm from. And check this out. She has a kitty cat. Two things in common already. I'm liking this girl. So we are reviewing the closet of Miss Sissy, which is at S-I-S Brown 34, at Sis Brown 34. So if you haven't already, take out your phone, your iPad, or maybe look at it on the computer. Same with me. Minimize my video on the side and look at Sissy's uh, closet on the side as we're doing this. So let's check out her engagement level. So she 
um, has 4,300 followers and she has 1198 shares. So that's the first recommendation I would have for her is to share a lot more. Um, I would look at a healthy kind of sharing ratio of anything two to three times the number of followers. I'm myself trying, I'm trying to get to that. I'm not even there. But as I look at successful closets and levels of engagement, those who share significant amounts definitely are um, selling a lot more. So here we are. Um, the next uh, kind of category I look at is the number she's following. And she's actually following a lot more people than um, she has followers, which is really healthy. Um, definitely there's a lot of opportunities with individuals who have a lot of followers but are not following back. Um, but in this case, she has a very good, um, good ratio here. Moving on to the closet composition. So she has 224 listings. Let's check out how many of that um, have been sold real quick. So she has... Let's see, six, nine, twelve. Nice. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Oh, she has a significant. Oh, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so let's say she has around thirty sold. It's pretty good for a young closet. Um, so uh, 224 minus 30, we see how many active listings she has. Now let's go back to all of her, all of her listings and see what she's selling. Very good and on trend that she's highlighting um, some um, swimsuits right now. Kudos to her. Great job. Then she has some dresses few jackets, shirts. Okay. Are you noticing a anything in terms of sizing? I'm um, seeing first and foremost that her sizing varies widely. And that's completely fine. But it, it doesn't make it for a bundle friendly closet until she adds a lot of more items. So if I'm a small and I come in here and I want to buy a bunch of things that are small, I'm going to be looking for things. It's not that everything is uniform one size um, or that, you know, she has options. So that's one thing to point out. Um, if you want your closet to be bundle friendly, make sure you have a lot of things in each of the sizes so that people are adding things to their, to their cart um, and it makes it easy for them to shop. From a brand perspective, um, the way I like to look at brands is by um, going in here on the side and seeing what she has available. Um, so let's check this out real quick. I see Nanette Lepore, Seven Jeans, Some Theory, Torrid, Awesome, True Religion, Urban Outfitter. She has something from Valentino, Tea and Cup, Excellent, Sparkle and Fade, which is Urban Outfitters. I'd recommend to her at this point to put Sparkle and Fade under Urban Outfitters so that people can find it when they're searching for um, Urban Outfitters. I see some Victoria. Uh, Victoria. Pink, Victoria, <laughs> Secret, Pink, Victoria. Yeah, okay. Uh, North Face, Nasty Gal, Nanette, Excellent, Made Well, Lucky. So she has fairly, fairly uh, good brands. She has some good stuff in there. Um, so I would not have any recommendations here. Obviously, I want her to get more of the stuff that's selling. Um, and less of the stuff that's not, but that's a healthy, healthy brand makeup for a closet of this size. Um, let's see, frequency and adding new items. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at just in items and see when she posted them. 
So she posted this skirt two days ago. She posted this about 22 hours ago. This 22 hours ago. I said just in. It's funny how that didn't show up in order. This 22 hours ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Okay, and then I'm going to go a little bit further down and see. April 18th, five days ago, two days ago. Why aren't they in order? Does anyone know? If you go to just in, it should show on just in. I might have to go back to my phone to look at that. Maybe the desktop version um, isn't as accurate. Let's see. Yeah, this. This doesn't work, so I'll go back and look on my phone. Correction, the date we looked at does not reflect the date posted. It reflects the timestamp the listing was last modified. So the frequency of new additions will be discovered in the interview only. Then let's move on to pricing. Overall, I'm seeing the pricing to be very competitive, um, very fair. We have an anthropology dress here for $20. Awesome. Some seven jeans for $15. We have a dress from Forever 21 for $10. We have a dress from Urban Outfitters for $10. Um, her bathing suits are uh, very competitive. I'm thinking her pricing is great. I would not change much here. Her theory dress for 28. Uh, I say she's doing a pretty darn job creating competitive um, inventory listing. So awesome on that. Moving on. Disc I'm sorry, moving on uh, on the presentation. Let's talk about her photography. I'm really digging her simple, clean style presentation. Um, there's nothing interfering, distracting us from viewing the item. It's a nice close-up picture. Let's look and see how she does her pictures. She creates a listing with a measurement. So not only does she does she give the measurement, I've got to go check. But I think the visual measurement uh, picture is, is awesome. That's outstanding. She, brought, she shows the brand. Great. The one thing I would add, hold on, is that, never mind, she has that too. In addition to having the brand tag, since we now have eight, I recommend adding the fabric tag. But because it's all in one place, she's got it covered. Um, but for those watching, um, I recommend that and the makeup, uh, the uh, fabric composition tag is excellent. Looks good. Only thing that's missing in this one that someone might ask, I'm not necessarily recommending to do it um, out of, you know, the need for efficiency, but there's no picture of this item being modeled. Um, I see some other pictures being modeled. This is a straightforward skirt, so hopefully lack of modeling will not prevent someone from buying it, um, but just something to keep in mind. Let's check out something else. I see here she is modeling, and it's perfect. If you're going to model anything, if you're only going to model one thing, one category in your closet, I definitely recommend the dress. Um, so I see a great modeling job here, good picture, L picture of the, of the tag. The one that's missing is the fabric composition. And the reason why I say that is because it avoids all those questions in case you don't have the time to write it all out in the description. Taking a quick snapshot of that really will aid your efficiency there. So if you do the pictures of the measurements, and the fabric content, you don't have to do too much in the description. So think about it. Giving the information one way or the other um, will be uh, great. We'll check out one more here, maybe a top, see what's going on here. 
good front back and and that I would only add the um, uh, fabric composition and I would perhaps model this one just because anything that is a little different um, people are going to be like oh I wonder what that looks on me hey could you model that could you see what it looks like on could you do that you know you're going to avoid those questions if you just model it and model it on a dress form don't um, I know we've talked about mannequins in the past, but I'm really leaning towards dress forms lately because they are so quick, especially if you have a hook on the wall, you put on the top, hang it, picture, you're set. Much quicker, much quicker. So good, let me check out the one of her bathing suits. Front, back, boom, great. Once again, I think it would be very helpful to have a bust form hanging and to display the um, the bathing suit top on that. From a photography standpoint, she's she's doing really well. Um, I think some pictures might need um, maybe some additional additional um, looksee, but other than that, looking pretty darn good. Keep continue to you know improve your lighting. Uh, but from a, you know, strategy of taking pictures, making the clothing item the central point with a lighter background, you can't get any more classic than that. Okay, titles. Let's take a look-see on her titles. And what I'm looking for is here um, the, you know, keywords and descriptions and things that would make it easily searchable. Okay, hopefully you're looking at this with me. Um, so you want to put the brand, you want to put any anything that is um, that has a style name second because people are searching for specific uh, style names if it has one. You want to highlight anything unique about it and then throw in some keywords. pink button down blouse with lace kind of flowy romantic soft boho add a, a little extra uh, grabber in there uh, I call them grabbers but you know they don't always grab everybody um, but they don't prevent people from looking at it so if you can grab a few more to look at an item do so include some grabbers Yeah, like this is really cute, um, like innocent, baby dollish, little top with polka dots. Um, there's additional words you can use to, um, to emphasize uh, the pretty features of the shirt. This skirt is just gorgeous. It's stunning. Um, yes, it's a plus size but I would expand a somehow and reword that title to really bring value to, to that skirt, beautiful skirt. Okay. So one thing, and I, I don't know if I'm just being picky, annoying, but I like when there's consistency in the titles. And so if you are going to capitalize every word in your other titles, and then suddenly you kind of, you loosen up on that, um, I think it looks less professional. So I, perhaps if you're, you know, you're running out of time, you're just trying to put something in there. Great. Next time, go back through and clean them up and make it make it look consistent and professional throughout your closet. All right, so that's that. And don't forget, if you have any comments on any of the categories, please leave them below so that we um, we help Sissy with just all different thoughts. I really want diversity of thought. I know that I'm just like one little minor speck 
in the feedback you know world and I'm sure there are other opinions and other thoughts and lots of other help so please 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 include that down below for sissy let's move on to descriptions let me just grab something random and see what she has brown cotton with lace trim elastic waistband and back oops I lost it So we have the size in the pictures, I mean, and also in the description. Um, we have the measurement in here. It's kind of hard to see. I would recommend taking a different picture showing. I don't know if it ends here at 17, um, but I would take a better picture of that. We've got the waist, awesome. We have fabric composition. Yes, we do. Yeah, so other than that, because she provided everything in the pictures, I would just add another engagement statement in here um, um, and just, you know, maybe be consistent and have something sweet to say. Um, my kind of boring, random thing I say in every listing is thank you for, um, I forget. Oh my God. Thank you for checking out my, no, thank you or looking, please check out the rest of my closet, something like that. That's the consistent one. So you too can grab someone and, you know, hey, thank you for checking out my skirt. Um, let me know if you have any questions or, um, hey, beautiful, I know you're going to look at good in this skirt. I can see you in it. Thank you for looking. You know, something to kind of differentiate you, grab you, and you can leave that in every one or have some random messages. I think it goes a long way and it makes it appear as your, you know, you're trying to create something here, a little store stylistically um, from a, um, uh, just from a community perspective, you're trying to, um, to engage in other ways. I, I think it really works. I really like when people have something in here that makes it fun and it you know the other thing that um that it does it helps me remember um that closet versus not remember if it's just something plain and simple nothing is making that you stand out and i want you to stand out i want you to create a unique thing for yourself so just consider that just consider that Especially if you're not doing anything unique in the pictures, you don't have a kind of a signature thing, um, then I would do it through verbiage, through words, through the written aspect. Let's check out another one. I keep going back to this dress. Too bad it's medium. I might be buying it. It's kind of cute. Uh, uh, Dress, sleeveless with bow below the waist, lined in cotton. She got the measurements. Yeah, once again, I, I'd have an additional statement in here. You know, gorgeous orange summer dress, unique bow feature with gathering. Does it have, let's see. It's kind of a dropped um, torso. I'm trying to figure out if it starts at the waist or not. Anyway, anyway, you see what I'm saying? Adding just a little bit oomph in there. Oh my God, I just had like a mosquito. Sorry. <laughs> All right, one more. Let's look at the boy men's shorts. See what we got here. O'Neal nylon board shorts, tie waist in excellent condition, size 34. We need a measurement. Although I don't know if men are that picky as women. Um, maybe not. But for just to avoid any questions in the future, just snap an additional picture with the tape showing the inseam and the waist, and you'll have that covered. So good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so descriptions are on point. 
they are very brief and you guys know how I feel with brief descriptions if you're gonna do it real brief um, have a nice presentation and add some additional things um, let's see descriptions overall oh, overall first impressions okay so when we first came into Sissy's closet I noticed she does not have the background picture um, as she has on her when we look at the mobile and just so you guys know if you update the background on the mobile it shows on the mobile it does not replicate on desktop the profile photo does but not not the background so you'd have to come in here and actually add um, add the same photo that you did on your mobile to stay consistent or you can do something bigger um, one thing I would note, maybe sprucing up something here. I, I like the fact that she has buy to get 10 off. Um, but anything else that might make it interesting for people to, um, to shop in your closet, I would, I would add maybe some grabbers in here of some sort. Then look, let's look at the about. So we have, oh, she is so gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous lady. Dang, she's really beautiful. Let's see what her about says about her. I'm Kathleen. Oh, I was calling her Sissy. Sorry, Kathleen. You're Kathleen. We're calling you Sissy. Sissy Kathleen. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love the rockabilly lifestyle. Excellent. You may see me driving around in my 55 Chevy. Some of my favorite brands are J. Crew, Lululemon, Athletica, and Free People. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to leave me a comment so that I can check out your closet too. Awesome. Great. Um, my recommendation is to really fill up that space. So if you have more characters available, disclose a little bit more about yourself. Make it, disclose something unique, something that will make me remember Kathleen. I'll be like, remember Kathleen? She's the one that jumped, bungee jumped in Cambodia off that bridge. Something that makes maybe some of your experiences unique, maybe something you've accomplished unique, anything that'll make us remember who Kathleen is. This stands out to me because I'm thinking of the 55 Chevy and the rockabilly lifestyle, but I have a feeling there's a lot more to Kathleen um, than listing that I would add some more stuff I would kind of practice disclosure and openness and make yourself available to us so that we can get to know you more Kathleen I think that would be really nice I gotta practice that too I have not done that I have not written my um, description since I really like first started on Poshmark so I'm gonna listen to my own advice and go and do that as well but I highly recommend to, um, uh, to practice a little bit more uh, self-disclosure, leaving a little story, maybe your goals, what you're doing on Poshmark for. You're just selling your, selling your stuff because you're saving money to go on a trip to Tibet to meet with someone. You know what I mean. Something. Okay. Um, so good on that. Don't forget, you guys, we have more pictures available to us to fill in that so take some additional pictures either of yourself your favorite styles maybe something that inspires you a pretty picture stuff that makes Kathleen Kathleen should be in here utilize all the space uh, let's check out her love notes she has nine love notes and has given two we can see what she's um, what she's getting from other people. Um, let's see, she's got that those two. Yeah, I don't like that one. No, I do like that. One. I oh my god, I thought she said much prettier in photos. She said much prettier than photos. Nice, Kathleen. And then she's received some. We can see all love notes if we want. Um, in here, we can actually see new post, new poster shared. So um, even though I said here, this is only for um, the interview, I won't go as much depth most of the time. 
um, and review this type of stuff. It's going to make for the videos to be way too long. Um, average ship time one day, cha-ching, last active one hour. So she's actively engaged with Poshmark. She's posting um, here and there every two to five days. Um, in order to be more successful, let's let's go through and give our final final analysis. Um, Kathleen, this is me now talking to you. Me, hold on, let me let me make it bigger. Me talking to you. You're off to an amazing start. You're gorgeous. You have great stuff already in your closet. Your pricing is super competitive. I would brush up and just clean up your titles. Make your descriptions a little, have a little bit more oomph, oomph. Um, get more frequent into adding new things. Above all, continue adding new things. And um, the very, very important thing is sharing others. Get more engaged by sharing other stuff. Um, get more followers. You're doing great following others, but get more followers. If I was talking to you, I'd be asking you what other additional things you are doing to bring business to your closet. And that goes for your other social media engagement. Are you connected to Pinterest? Every time you share something, are you sharing to Pinterest as well? Do you have any Facebook groups you're in? Are you on Instagram? What is Kathleen doing for herself to bring people to her since she has a lot to offer and she's off to an amazing start? Um, make it happen, girl. You're on to something here. So in a few days, come back and read some of the additional comments left down below for you. I'm going to uh, respond to you with some of the things that I've said in this video so that you have it for yourself and you can remember it, but thumbs up, thumbs up. I really want to see you do something more with that rockabilly thing. Something that when I come into your closet, I see this girl's rockabilly. She's got that style. She's got that retro feel. Um, so consider, consider something like that, creating some postings on what is rockabilly lifestyle and what is this? Check me out here in my 55 Chevy. I want to see that. I want to know more of you, so make it happen. Bye, everybody. Greetings and salutations. Closet review number one. Be on the lookout for additional closet reviews, and I'll be reading all the feedback as well. Love you guys. Ciao.